All right, so let's go in and see if we can find these people we got to talk to. Who is it again? We got to find it. What's her name? Gaia Batsamakia the Dwarven. Armor. Oh, welcome back, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just jumping right in because this is basically I'm doing clips throughout the day. So it's not like I've been away for a while. And then um, talk to... Let me talk to them. Did that. And talk about that Quintus guy. Let's go up here. What's up? Oh, is there something hard in your pocket? I found it when you brushed against me. No, I'm just happy to see you, hon. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Is there somebody in here? There is. Is that Gaia? Is that Gaia? Not here. No. He can hear us. Oh, who's this? No. Oh, basically a captive there. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. Yeah, but I ain't talking. People are sleeping. Maybe they'll help me find folks. Tato. Gaia. Oh. There we go. Hello there. Okay. So maybe it's the blacksmith dude I gotta talk to because they didn't say go talk to Guy. I just assumed it was Guy because she said she would need to know okay and where would he be really come on man I might just steal that but I can't yes I'm listening no oh, man I swear to these people Stay where you're supposed to be. Whoop. So, somebody in here? Somebody's in here. Nope, not him. Let me this, guess. this is the problem with, with doing broadcasts of games like this, because it ends up being a lot of this kind of stuff, which is like super not riveting TV. So, and I'm not an extrovert enough, not enough of an extrovert to just sit there and lay out constant comments and jokes and yada 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 like for example my son is this him working nah. hard uh, whatever dude oh I need to be asking people about yeah, 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 yeah he's a Nord though he's not an Imperial uh. working hard no I don't want to talk to you about that looking for Okay, we're just going to go up. We'll talk to the Jarl about Quintus. And of course, can't get in there because such and such has the key. There's the baths. Okay, let's see. Can we talk to her? My father told me what yeah. you did to those looters. He says you're dangerous and I should avoid you. I think we're going to be good friends. See you around. So she's basically wants to be anything, be for anything that her father is not. I'm assuming this is him. Yeah. Hello again, my friend. Any word about the matter we discussed? Nope. 
because I can't find the stinking people that I need to talk to. Because nobody's at, see, nobody's letting me talk to them about the topics that I need to talk about. Nobody's bringing it up. So let's try something different. Let's just see if they'll tell me through the. Tell me what your story stuff. But there would probably be someone that I haven't talked to yet. I would think that would have been that would have come up already. Oh yeah. Working hard. My story. Well, I'm from Markarth originally. Started working at Kolskiga Mines as a lad. And after a while, the Silverbloods made me foreman. I was doing pretty well for myself. Until somebody decided to knock me down the shaft into this place. I have. I had. A wife and son. Still up there, I suppose. Though, they probably think I'm long gone. But, chin up, right? Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here, supervising workers to earn me keep. Waiting for the day that I can get out of here and back to my life in Markarth. Well, I'd be lying if I said they're happy. But I'd also be lying if I said I cared. <laughs> they're decent people and all. But they seem to have an hard time grasping that somebody around here's got to work the farms. Or we all starve. Gulver's the worst of the lot. Seems like a decent man at first. But he's got a temper on him. Once he told me he killed a man before he came here. He'll tell you if you ask him. Of course, down here with the dwarves law, a bad temper could land us all in a lot of trouble. I'd keep an eye on that one if I were you. Alright. So let's talk to some other people. Somebody in here? No, that's the kitchen. And I ain't talking to that lady. She's just. Is this her? Yeah, I ain't talking to her. Let's go down here, see who's down here. Oh, hello. Name's Castellus Vitus, military engineer of the Imperial Legion. Out of action right now, but don't worry, I'm still in the service. Mm. What about you? That's odd. You don't look like an Imperial. Can't be helped, I suppose. These days, we've got to accept help wherever we can. Now, I expect you'll have questions about how this place runs. Happy to share what I've learned. What did you want to know? Mm-hmm. Jarl's got me working on repairs to the Citadel. This place was built to last, but it still needs an engineer's touch every now and then. Door hinges need to be oiled, cracks need to be patched up, and that bloody water pipe in the bathroom is constantly springing a leak. But it's a good idea to make yourself useful around here. No doubt the Jarl will make good use of your skills too, whatever those might be. Killing folks. Ah yes, my workshop. Well, of course, as an engineer through and through, I couldn't resist the urge to dismantle some of this dwarven technology. How complicated can it be, I thought. As it turns out, it's extremely complicated. You see these gleaming dwarven busts in every room? Well, I think I know what they are. They all seem to be connected to the pipes running all over the city and down the front of the citadel. And I've seen these things before in other ruins, but these are different. Their eyes are glowing with blue light. Have you noticed? But whenever you see one of these things, remember, someone or something is watching everything you do, waiting for you to break the dwarves' law. Suspicious behavior, you say? Ah, so the Jarl has found a task for you. Keeping yep. tabs on us? Hmm. Don't worry. I'm the town snitch. Your secret's safe with me, friend. Well, the Citadel's mainly full of good Imperial stock, so you don't have to worry too much about them. 
But now that you mention it, lately I've been wondering if the Citadel isn't haunted. Every now and then, mostly late at night, I swear I can hear a woman sobbing. I'll be damned if I know where it's coming from, but it's not Gaia next door, so who could it be but a ghost? Gods know a lot of died in here. Yes, well, not completely. A little. I think I understand the pipes that run all over the place. See, they mainly carry water. There's a single pipe on the top floor bringing water from outside the citadel inside. Water then trickles down through each floor to the lake. But that's not all. It seems the water flowing through these pipes causes these gears to rotate. And when that happens, they somehow create light. The dwarves were brilliant engineers. I doubt I could hold a candle to them. Not that I would need to with all the lights in this place. Alright, I guess that's... They gave me some information. Not a lot of helpful information, but... Alright. Let me talk to these folks. Let's go downstairs and see if we got some more people to talk to. And I'm not a huge fan of quests that involve just a lot of talking and back and forth and stuff like this. Storyline seems interesting, but... I don't know. Not here. He can hear us. Because he's incredibly nasty when he gets angry, and if he saw us speaking, he'd be furious. Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay. Let's see if we got something else we can talk to that we haven't talked to yet. Got my eye on ya. <laughs> Sorry, young um, no Oh yeah, here we go again. Oh, stop it. God, this blind deaf old fart. What a help he is. Oh, hello there. I'm a Breton from High Rock. I've some days I just can't believe I feel like we're on the brink of some oh. amazing discoveries about the Dwemer. Who knows? Maybe we'll find not all of them have disappeared. Come on. You guys have heard all this oh, conversation uh, before, but it might open up I've said the conversation about this armor city, stuff. Which led me to Some days I just can't. I yeah. feel like we're on the brink of well, some yeah, amazing you. discoveries about the... I could, but Brawl knows much more than I do. Yeah. We should be able to find him in his chambers down the city. Okay, you're not helping. The crap. Talk... Talk to an expert about the immaculate dwarven armor. That would be, that's got to be the blacksmith dude. Which would be here. He's just not here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to wait. Until he shows up. There he is. Hey, you. I hear you got to kill some looters. Quintus, my name is Marius. You must have the wrong person. Mm-hmm. And perhaps you're not as stupid as you look. Well done, you found me. Now, what do you want? My family? Ha! The Dark Brotherhood likes to use terms like family, ah. but they don't know the meaning of the word. They're still holding a grudge because I left them, you see. They don't like it when people leave them. It makes them look ineffectual. Say, do you happen to know whether anyone else knows I'm here? That is excellent news. Hopefully it will be the last we hear of them. Now, what's it going to take for you to keep this quiet, hmm? Nah, I need to oh, progress the story. How noble of you. Pfft, I've admitted it. I worked for the Dark Brotherhood. And you're very good at but it. But okay. I'm quite comfortable here, as you can see. What would be my motivation to kill anyone now? I'd need some kind of death wish. Now, 
Was there something else you wanted to ask me? Or can I get back to enjoying my retirement? You do that. Okay, so it wasn't. Let me guess. You want to talk? All right, so. We talk to an expert about some magnet dwarven armor. I wonder who, who that would be. Figured it'd be Gaia, because she was the one that asked me to get the armor. Figured Bro would have brought it up had I talked to him about it. Maybe somebody in one of the stores? I don't know, we'll go down and see. Let's go outside and see. Here we go. I ain't going into any of the stores yet, so let's go down there. Who's that? Is that? Habik. Hey, Habik. Hello there. I'm Habik. I live out back with my wife, Miranda. We used to live in solitude, but, uh, we had to leave. Make any money of it. Not enough customers. The Jarl says he likes to keep us busy and out of trouble. But of course, he and all his cronies in the Citadel never seem to lift a finger. I wish it was that simple. But with the Dwarves' Law, everybody here is terrified of doing anything wrong. In case it gets us all killed. The dwarves wrote, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. But we don't know what they meant by sin. Theft. Violence, probably. But maybe they meant all sorts of things, like dishonesty or disobedience to the Jarl. That's what Metellus would like us to think, anyway. Mm. Okay. So I could ignore his orders? Sure. I could even lead an uprising against him. Gods know most of us are sick of him, but I'd be risking the lives of everyone here, and I just don't want to be responsible for that. So here I am, running my shop. Could be worse. Don't be a fool. That sort of dangerous talk could get us all killed. If you don't believe me, go and talk to Brawl. Dunmer fellow. Can't miss him. Our son was working at my stables outside the city. He was alone when he had a visit from some Imperial. A cousin of the High King. This Imperial thought he'd just take one of the horses as a tithe. Guess he didn't think a twelve-year-old boy was going to stop him. But hmm. Limar wouldn't stand for it. And as the thief rode off, my son managed to shoot an arrow into his shoulder. But I... I wasn't there at the time. I came back from the market to find my son's body, trampled in the dirt. It was... I... I can't begin to describe it. I was shattered. I went straight to Torig's court and demanded justice. But I guess that word doesn't mean much to an Imperial. Instead, he seized my stables and told me if I ever set foot in solitude again, my wife and I would end up the same way as Lamar. So we left. Wandered Skyrim for a while and eventually wound up here. I was hoping this place would be better. This is what happens when you're I was wrong. tired of listening. You start looking around for an escape, right? Thank you. All right. See you again soon, I hope. What is it? Whoa. Oh, sorry. I forgot about these steps and stuff. Well, 
I don't know, because I don't even know where you are. Ah, the underground tunnels. I don't have the key. Yes? Hey, I hear you don't... What can I do for you, my friend? Come back soon. Come back soon. Nice trader. Let's go in here. Where the heck is everybody? What y'all? No. I didn't ask for that either. Yeah, you know oh, what? It's you. Hello again. Let me talk to this guy again. What do you want? No, he's Bye. just being a prick. What can I do for you, my friend? I don't know, man. But uh, this is getting on my nerves. So, um, yeah. Him. Hello there. You know what? Let me see if I can find oh. you there. Come over here. I'm beyond help. The potions do nothing. And I don't. You just need to tell me something. What do you need to tell me? Endar. He plants these images in my head. He shows me secrets. Made me come here. What something did you see? Terrifying. Deep in the earth beneath the city. Powerful. And evil. I went down into the tunnels to destroy it. But the energy. It seeps into your bones. Please. Please, you must find a way to get down there. And finish what I... I... Uh. Uh. Alright, so does he have a key? It looks like I might be able to recreate that armor set. Alright, Brian, so as a vigilance of Stendar, make this will. I'll leave all my worldly possessions, including my immaculate dwarven boots, to whoever is willing to continue my mission to rid this place of the evil that lies buried beneath the city. May Stendar be a blessing. May Stendar's blessing protect you. Brandon's first day of the last sea today, I guess. Okay, eh, can I take that? I'll take that. I don't want all these potions. I'm Look at you just kind of hanging out. Well, not literally, of not course. Stealing nothing. Do you have something? I thought to he say? had a chest in. I thought I saw the chest in here. Uh, I guess not. Okay. So let's move on. What is it? We're gonna go outside. That's what I thought. All right. So we've got two pieces. Wait a minute. And the house is over there. I'm gonna go in there right now. Go in here, talk to these guys. Oh. oh. Letter from Domitus.
Oh crap. For the sins of no, the no. Didn't mean to take it. There. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start that over. I'm gonna start all over. Nope. Not gonna happen. It's called reload. Okay, so we'll look at the note. We'll read the note. Okay, we I gave you guys time to read it. There you go. So we're going to put that back. And. All right. And there's. Nobody, nothing in here. Yeah, that made it pretty easy. Now I got, a, got stuff to do around here and it should be playing. But anyway. Just making a little headway as we go on this one. Let's see what we got. All right, we're over there. Let's see what we got in here. Let me check out these two houses, then I want to stop where we're at. Nothing in his house at all. And who's this? Vernon. Let's check out Vernon. We're supposed to be doing this anyway, but. No. All right. We're going to rein this in for the day, I think. That's the other stuff I need to be doing. And we're going to pause here. Whose house am I at? I'm going to pause here. Oh, yeah, because i got to talk to him about his wife missing anyway. So we're going to pause here and then continue on this storyline. You know, when we next come back, we're going to continue hunting down, you know, um, already done that. we got to find out about this. You talk to him. We'll work on that. So we're working our way through all this, but all right. So we will see you guys when we come back. And um, have a good day. Um, I've done a bunch of videos today, so I'll be able to spread these out through the week until I get back next weekend if I don't get back to it today or tonight. And uh, we will see you guys later. Uh, have a good day. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. And shout out to all my fans overseas in Brussels. It's an inside joke. I should close every time with that. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you know what? Hey, Cortana, unsnap. Hey, Cortana, stop broadcast. <laughs>